guys, I hope you're all doing really, really well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I have been shopping. It's January. It's the season of the sales. It is my birthday month. I've been shopping. So I thought I would do a bit of a combined kind of haul video with some of the bits that I have been buying with my Christmas money, birthday money. And I'm also in a bit of a tradition of treating myself to a little spenny purchase. I've done this for the last consecutive few years now so last year I bought myself a Chanel handbag en route to South Africa the year before that I got myself a YSL Lulu bag that was like my first designer purchase this year's hasn't arrived yet so that will be arriving later on this week so I will show you that in Sunday's video which is very exciting today I have loads of stuff to get on with sharing with you but I also have a load of PR stuff that I've been sent this week as well so I'm going to save that for the end of this video because I know PR unboxing isn't for everyone but I have some beauty bits some fashion bits homeware bits to share with you at the end of the video and then all this goodness. I have Zara Home, Zara White Company, loads of White Company, and H&M as well. And when we were in Aldi doing our weekly food shop, I did also spot quite a few middle aisle bits, you know, the random section that they have, and I treated myself to a few bits. In fact, I'll show you the first one because I've actually done my hair with it today. I have used these Remington Professional. They're like heated rollers. I've never used them before, so I'm still very much practicing. But this is how they come. They plug in, heat up in three to five minutes, and then you use the rollers and the clips to just do your hair. I will show you the like results in an Instagram reel. So I will make sure it's already live. So by the time you're watching this video, if you do want to see that. And then in terms of what I'm wearing, I actually have on this three piece set, which is from Primark. I cannot wait until Primark is back open. But anyway, it's a three piece top trousers and a kind of like cardi, but it feels like dressing out. So I'm in nice loungewear PJs with us not going out or doing anything. Oh, and one other thing that I thought I would mention in this video as well, kind of in related to like gifted items, which I'll show at the end of the video. Um, but a lovely girl reached out to me on Instagram and she does readings over Instagram stories. Like, so if you're into tarot card reading, spirituality, then stay tuned for that because I'm gonna play that to you so you can listen to my card readings at the end of the video. Okay, so from H&M, I did just pick up one find in the sale. This is very much a practical item, one that I thought I could add into my wardrobe and benefit from. Because we've been getting into more longer walks, walks in the countryside, we live in the kind of suburbs of Manchester, so there are some really lovely walks like south of Manchester that we want to do a lot more of. And I don't want rain to stop me. So, and also there's something quite liberating about going on a walk in the rain. But this is in a large. I did purposely get a large so that it is quite oversized on me personally. I am a UK 10. And it was reduced down from 49.99 full price down to 20 pounds. And it's basically a huge puffer coat in black that's really, really long. It's like a duvet with little toggles to cinch it in as well. Huge, really handy pockets and a huge hood. So this is very much a top layer, rain or shine. I am out walking in the winter, regardless of the weather. I'll show you the Zara bits now. I'll show you the home bits first. And um, I did actually only get a couple of items. I do love a Zara home order. Again, the first one was in the sale. It's actually in the Christmas sale. I don't really see why this is Christmassy, but I picked it up anyway, because it is for now. <laughs> it's definitely not Christmas. This is a super, super cozy throw for our sofa in our living room. Just to get all cozy on the sofa in the evening is like my favorite thing to do. And the throw we've currently got on there is not my favorite. So I got a really nice, luxurious cream one. It is huge. But on this side, it's kind of like a ribbed, yeah, like a ribbed kind of super soft coziness. And then on the inside, it's like a faux fur, so really, really soft. It was kind of pricey, even in the sale, I think this was about 40 to 50 pounds. But I'm fully justifying it. Yeah, Zara Home Christmas Edition, it says definitely staying out all year round this one um yeah kind of pricey for what it is but I just wanted to spend that little bit extra to get a luxe item and 
it's my birthday. I justify every spend in January with it's my birthday. But these two I will be returning. They are linen cushion covers, which I got for a couple of cushions, which I already have. They're completely the wrong size, my own fault, but these are quite small. I think these were again in the sale reduced to about 11 pounds. Moving on to Zara fashion bits now, I picked up a couple of bits. I'll try and leave everything linked below in the description box that I can if you were interested in having a look at any of these items yourself. Um, this first one was actually in the menswear section, and well, in fact, the first two are. Again, thinking long walks, but not even long walks this is more like a walk whereby maybe you're not going a treacherous woodland walk but you're actually walking to a cafe pit stop type thing so you want to look a little bit nice you wouldn't your nice boots on not your wellington boots and anyway i got this gilet in this beautiful beige color this like i said was from the menswear it does have little pockets and little pop buttons i just loved the color of this this was in a medium, $19.99, and this one as well at only $19.99. Um, and it's pretty similar, but long sleeve, like jacket style, puffer jacket. I just love the colour, love the huge pockets, and they are also like side pockets you can put your hands in, but then you also have big, deep pockets to put stuff in. A few nice long walks. I actually tried this on uh, when it first arrived layered with that underneath and i quite like that look it's like layers of puffer coats puffer gilets in a beautiful color as well so love them this is also from the menswear section and again at only 19.99 is a great price point for such a good staple it is a super thick i can't get over how thick this is um plain basic cream hoodie i love the look of this I did get it in a medium, $19.99. I do really rate Zara for their base, Zara and H&M for their things like that, hoodies, everyday staples, leggings, that kind of thing. Speaking of leggings, actually, I did pick up this pair, which I found it really hard to see online what it was like. In a medium, only $19.99. I thought they might be quite a really nice, comfy staple, but slightly dressier legging. Zip up side and it's got piping or like seams down the front which I find is quite a flattering detail. The last item that I got from Zara is this t-shirt. It's in an extra large at $7.99. I can't remember if this is men's or women's but anyway I just typed in terracotta t-shirt because I have the terracotta leggings which are like the skim style leggings you may remember from a previous Zara haul and I love them but I never know what to wear with them because if I put black with it I'm like Halloween vibes? I don't know. I just wanted to get this and at only $7.99 I thought it would be a great staple to pair with the leggings. I feel like my friends and family know me well. This year I got actually three vouchers from or for the white company. So with shops not being open I had a little look online. They were doing a January sale where you got extra discount off sale items. Um, so I did get a couple of sale items, but also treated myself to some full price items. With my white company items, you'll know, I always opt for the gift wrap, which is an additional five pounds on top of your order. But then you have the beautiful white company boxes that you can keep afterwards. Now, the only thing I will say with that is when ordering online, you can't choose the size of the box. You just choose to add items to the box. That's a little bit annoying. When you're in store, I believe, don't quote me, but I think I'm right in saying, they have different the different size boxes and with different price points. So five pounds is like the largest, but then you can get the smaller one for like three pounds something or something like that. So this first box that I, or first order that I got is, um, oh, beautifully wrapped. So this is something that I spotted online at 40 pounds and it is one of the like aromatic mist diffusers, but a mini portable version. So you don't have to have it plugged in. It looks super sleek and minimal. I can't imagine that this will be on for very long because I can't imagine it holds much water, but I thought this would be great to have in like a spare bedroom. If, you, if and when we have guests over, to have it set out and put it on before guests arrive so that their room will smell lovely. But also the fact that it's portable, you can just take it wherever you go. And I did pick up some oils. So 
you may remember from my Christmas video, which I've already shown this, so I won't show it in detail, but my mum and dad got me this Stone Glow Large Perfume Mist Diffuser in black. So they got me the Spa Restore scent. So I've got that oil. I've now got the Sleep Oil as well. So in the bedroom, it'd be really nice to use that one. And then I think in another order, I've got another one or two. Again, another item that I have already shown, so I'll just show briefly. Uh, some of you didn't know this, and I didn't until recently, but this candle is actually from Bista Village. I live nowhere near Bista Village, so they have a service where you can email them, phone them, they can tell you what's in stock, and you can buy it and they'll send it out to you. So postage is kind of pricey, but it's still worth it because you're getting the discount. So this is a discontinued scent in mistletoe, cedar, spruce, and amber. I'm gonna save this all sealed up for next year. Next box from The White Company. This is another option that I just wanted to show you that you can do. When you opt for the gift wrap option, you can also decide whether or not you want them to gift wrap it for you or for them to include all the gift wrap stuff so that you can make your own gift up without having to ruin it when it arrives if you wanna add some extra bits in or whatever. So I opted to do that this time, that's why it came in such a big box, was to fit this flat pack white company box in. They also include all the tissue paper that you need, they even include the little white company stickers that you use to seal them. So I actually quite like this idea because for now, I might actually just leave this flat pack until I find a use for that box. And then this order that I put in was for this. So. Again, another large candle. Candles are my life. I absolutely love burning candles. They are just so dreamy and relaxing. And this is such a classic. This is winter. Very rarely will you see winter go in the sale. So I took advantage of the fact that I was given a gift card and this was 60 pounds in cinnamon, clove and orange. This smells delightful. I know winter is quite a popular scent to burn at Christmas, but also into the winter months, into January and February to sort of continue that scent on. And then the last White Company box that I have to share with you. This time it did come in the, well actually this is a bonus. So what I was saying about gift wrapping options, this time I actually got two boxes and I only obviously paid for one. So this is the first box, this is how it came. And inside we have da -da -da, a towel. I ordered two different sizes and I think I got two of each. So the other box will have this in as well. I got one of the, this classic double border towel super jumbo, this one is. And then the one underneath is a bath sheet, so it's slightly smaller. These are in the sale, so these I managed to get the extra 10% off as well. So I think they're about 20 pounds each, something like that. And then these are two more oils that I got. So these are for our diffusers. So I went for Calm as well and also Lime and Bay. I feel like Lime and Bay will be a nice one to start using as the months start to head towards spring. So yeah, I'm so excited. These are usually eight to 10 pounds each. And I do actually have in this little potpourri basket here, I've decided to keep this out throughout winter. It's got faux, no, it's got fir tree potpourri in. And just behind it, I keep the actual fir tree oil. So let's just have a bit of that on there. This is my favorite scent. I was gonna pick up another one of them actually, but they didn't have them online. So I don't know if they're discontinuing it. I hope not. Because the same with Fireside, I really wanted to get a Fireside candle this year and they don't seem to have them. This is like a full Aldi haul in itself. So I'm gonna have to run through these pretty quickly. If you haven't already by this point got yourself a nice cozy drink and some snacks, I've still got quite a lot to go. So pause this video and go do your thing. I want you to be comfy and relaxed and chilled like me. I've shown you the hair things I got. They were about £35, £34.99 I believe. And I have looked at them online. I do think I found them for about £45. So I did get a little bit of a saving by going to Aldi. Now I was actually going to plan on doing a bit of a supermarket week, supermarket series type set of videos. I might still do that but I want to gauge your opinion on whether or not that's even interesting, whether or not it's, I don't know, appropriate at this time but obviously supermarkets are still open and I just thought if over the next couple of weeks I do my supermarket shops at different supermarkets but also whilst there check out the fashion the homeware bits and maybe do a series of videos seeing battle of the supermarkets which one's best 
and Aldi would have been one, but I thought, nah, let's just show you everything that I've picked up. Obviously picked up a magazine, because when do you ever go to Aldi and Lidl and not get one of them to read when you get home? So I got quite a lot of the Christmassy stuff they had discounted. The first thing were this Irish coffee glasses with mini whisk that it comes with. There's no whisk, I've just noticed. <laughs> Never mind, I wouldn't have probably used them anyway. Um, but they're like a proper... Irish whiskey style glass for like maybe a hot chocolate. Bailey's hot chocolate would be nice in this. And I have quite a lot of glassware in terms of mugs that I thought these would be quite a nice addition. They were $4.99 for the set of two. And then I also got myself one of these chopping boards that they had. And they are like part marble. So they've got this little marble section at the bottom. I thought this would be great for like a cheese board, um, some fresh bread to, to cut kind of a display board for whatever it is you're having it was 9.99 but it's really great quality it's obviously solid marble at the end you can feel the weight to it i also got myself one of the aldi candles now this one is in number one lime basil and mandarin and this is just to have oh nice um burning like on an everyday basis i like to have my candles my nice candles my white company candles and things like that out but not burn every single day so these are more of a daily whilst I'm working from home and then maybe in the evenings or weekends or whatever it may be that I burn my luxury ones I just appreciate them all the more so yeah these are about $3.99 $3.49 something like that then I also saw that they have the pinch of norm recipe books in at $5.99 now these retail usually for £20 so pretty good price point. So I did pick up both. We've got the Pinch of Nom 100 Slimming Homestyle Recipes, but then they also have the Pinch of Nom Light. So this is like every day, all under 400 calories, different dishes, lunches, whatever it may be. You know, new year, new recipes, trying things out. Although I'm not quite there in terms of being full on health kick. I just feel like I like a transition, especially with January being birthday and everything like that. So I did actually pick up two of these Baxter's soups. These are great for a lunch option. I don't know why I'm showing you food bits in this video, but I might as well carry on. Pumpkin and sweet potato with warming spices. This is a favorite, especially at autumn time. I love drinking that. Drinking, eating. And then the other one that I picked up was minestrone and smoked bacon. And it comes with a little orzo pasta in there as well. So quite filling. This was something that was in the Christmas reduced section. Loads of you sent me pictures over Christmas of this in Aldi, which is a very much a dupe of one that white company had this year and they were selling this one at 3.99 but i did pick this one up in the sale at 1.99 to put away for next year the christmas flavored crisps were reduced to 49p and they had camembert and rosemary and also brie and cranberry so i picked up two of them they also had loads of the christmas season floras so this one is cranberry and orange this one's winter spice I've noticed this is the packaging from last year, well, from 2019. So they must just have a load of stock that they're trying to sell. Because I, no I noticed that they rebranded this year, their packaging. These are like the medium sized ones at 250 mils. And they were selling them at 1.99 each. I stocked up for, I say for next year, but actually the cranberry and orange one is still quite nice to use this time of the year. It's quite fresh and citrusy. As is this one. This is one of my favorite non-festive scents that Zephora do. It's the mandarin and lime. Absolutely love this one. I saw these square oven dishes, which are very similar to my La Creuse ones that I have a bit of a collection of, um, but we don't have any this size. And these are perfect for like individual portions. So maybe if we're making um, something like a little lasagna, we could do individual portions for me and Tom. You can actually eat out of it. I just think that's quite cool to be able to do that. $4.99. I really like zesty drinks in the morning, whether that be the ginger and lemon tonic as a shot or this is quite potent actually. I won't say I enjoy this as much, but it's the apple cider vinegar with the mother. So that means basically all the nutrients in there and all the little bits. But this is, 
it really takes your breath away, but it's revitalizing, super fresh, and just gives you that energy, that kick, and apparently it's good for your digestive system. I also picked up these. Now, I'm guessing these are not gonna be on the shelves for very long because they are a Christmas edition of the Nescafe Golds. These are in cinnamon bun lattes. I tried these over Christmas and loved them, and saw that they had a few left in Aldi, so I picked up two boxes to stock up, and these in Aldi are one pound 25 each. So that is everything that I've got from Aldi. I've just got some PR bits left now in the tarot reading. I think I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with Glossy Box because Glossy Box have been really good to me last year. They gifted me every single month, which was amazing. And they actually sent this over Christmas, but I thought I would just show you what they did include. Just a couple of bits, to be honest, it was quite a big box, but there's a card in there for me and then a little personalized bauble which is obviously very Christmassy but they also included some cookies which have gone and also some Wittard luxury hot chocolate which I cannot wait to delve into and then obviously January's box arrived and inside here I'm actually really excited to give this one a try look at how nice that branding is some moisturizing serum a mud mask very appropriate hand sanitizer gel, eco-friendly daily reusable rounds which are good if you're wanting to cut cotton pads out your life, and an avocado sheet mask. And then a couple more beauty items I have got this week from Benefit. They've sent their new professional super setter and again, fitting with the times, a pink face mask. This is the classic pore primer professional which I love. It's a little USB stick in there. And then this is their new product, the Professional Super Set. I feel like I could put a bit on this on now. So let's give it a try. Oh, it's quite light. Oh, that's nice. You know how sometimes the setting sprays can make your face almost wet and you can get like water droplet marks? That feels super, super fine, like a really light mist. And then I also got from Look Fantastic, they sent over a new range that Pure Makeup have created in collaboration with Barbie. Blush palette, which comes with all of those colors. The Endless Possibilities 2, which comes with loads more colors. And then this set of two mascaras, you've got a primer one and a regular black mascara in there too. So thank you to Look Fantastic. And then also from Physicians Formula, which is a brand that I used to use when I lived in America many moons ago. It's great because it's good for your skin. It actually targets problem areas. It's really good for your skin. So if you suffer with acne or problematic skin, then Physicians Formula is definitely a brand worth checking out. A mascara, a rose all day oil-free serum, a butter bronzer, a clay mask, and then under here is another layer of a set of three eyeliners and another palette called Tropical Days. Down to the last couple of items now. The first one I wanted to share with you is from the brand Bell Dorm. This is a bedding company and they reached out and wanted to send me some new bedding, which I think was nothing better than a fresh set of new linens. So this as well, we're in for a treat because it's 1000 thread Egyptian cotton superior. Egyptian cotton. I went for a fitted sheet. This is the duvet. It's just got a like sort of thin, subtle piping design on it, very minimal. Then I got two of the regular housewife standard pillowcases for the ones we sleep on. I actually opted for the Oxford style, which is the one that comes with a border, so it looks thicker and it also, I don't know, it just looks more like hotel bedding. And then lastly, I have a couple of fashion items. The first is from a brand called Sienna London. Whoops, yay! Two little scrunchies with little bows on in sage and white. And then they've also sent two sets of their satin pajamas in white and sage. So you can have your matching scrunchie, that's so cute. Shirt and trousers set in a medium. This is what the shirt looks like super soft this is what the bottoms look like and also the piping along the bottom of the leg love them thank you so much to uh, sienna london last clothing item that i got sent i didn't actually know this was coming so this is from lc lounge l couture I'll, tr I'll leave everything linked. But this is a slouched jogger pant in mocha in a medium. And I'm guessing the matching crop hoodie it says. So, oh nice. This is an unusual colour for me, but I really like it. It's quite earthy. It's kind of like a, 
almost subtle purpley chocolate brown. And this is the branding there, as you can see. So yeah, that is what the jobbers look like. Nice cinched in drawstring waist, pockets as well, and cinched in bottoms and some branding on the leg. Oh, and they also have included a little like kind of chenille velour scrunchie, which will look nice with my silky ones. So that's everything that I have to show you. But let me also get up the tarot reading, the card reading, because I thought this was spot on. I won't play it all, but I'll just show you a little clip of it. So it's from a brand, a brand. So it's from a girl called Naomi Stella. I am Naomi Stella on Instagram. I'm trying to show you without showing the ring light. But again, I will leave her links below. And she does it on a pay what you can afford basis, which I think is great. She sends it via voice note. So let me just play a couple. Basically, at the beginning, she just explains that she does three separate drawers of your past, your present, and your future. Okay, so the first two cards are for your past. Like I said, I won't focus too much on this, but um, yeah, so this we've got past. the Page of Pentacles and we've got the Seven of Swords. So I'm going to start with the Seven of Swords because this basically shows a situation which I feel like was in the last year. I feel like it really wasn't that long ago where there were a lot of lies and mistrust around in the situation. Now, I get the feeling this is not on a romantic level. I feel like it might have been at a job or in a friendship family member um but definitely there was just someone who was almost like a dangerous opponent so the next card is Present. the lover's card and this is for your current situation so this i feel like is not to predict a relationship or anything like that for you i'm not saying that you don't have a relationship or that you want in the future i just don't think that's why this card has come up so when the lover's card comes up it shows basically that there's a really crucial decision that needs to be made now chances are you probably know what this is surrounding but it might be that it's literally over the next few weeks um, when I say like current situation, it can be the very, very near future as well. I'm going to leave that at that. The next two cards are for your future. And the first one that I've pulled is the Seven of Pentacles. And I feel like this is literally over the next like three to four months. It just shows hard work paying off. It shows that you're not quite where you want to be yet. But as long as you kind of keep putting in that belief and that faith into the situation, you're going to get to where you want to be and hard work is going to pay off. I almost feel like you've been putting a lot of energy and a lot of time into a project recently, which maybe hasn't been released yet, or maybe you haven't seen what you expected, like the outcome of it yet. That is going to come. So rest assured that that is going to be very successful, all that hard work you've put into it. Um, so keep the faith a little bit. The other card that came up is the King of Pentacles, and this really shows just contentment, both materially and emotionally. There are a couple more voice note recordings, but I'm going to leave it at that and leave her instagram down below if you wanted to check it out and have a reading yourself so that is everything that i wanted to share with you in this video i hope you all are well i hope you enjoyed this video thumbs up if you did and please please do send suggestions on video ideas because i am stumped with the current situation i just don't know what to do so do let me know your suggestions in the comments down below and i hope to see you guys on sunday bye guys